Hi everybody. So today's installation of the Sergeant at Arms is going to address the controversy surrounding this memo about the FISA court issuing a FISA warrant and whether it was written correctly, whether it was issued correctly, and how the legislative branch has been fighting amongst themselves to decide whether there was inappropriate use of a FISA warrant. So before I go any further, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm clearing up what a FISA warrant is and what the FISA court is. So the FISA court is the United States Foreign, Intelli Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. A FISA warrant comes only from that court. So let me tell you what they do. Basically, it's, they, they, it's 11 justices. They serve seven-year terms. Um, and all they do is consider requests to surveil people. And the requests come from the FBI, the NSA, the CIA. They only come from the intelligence community. So their only job is to serve the intelligence community. They've become almost a quasi-Supreme Court. The only, one of the biggest differences between them is they don't serve life terms, the Supreme Court does. But for the purposes of being a court, all they really do is review the details of the request for a warrant. That's all they do. And based on intelligence that the FBI, CIA, or NSA have gathered on a particular person uh, or maybe even on a particular government. It, in, in this case, it's a particular person that they wanted to surveil. So the issue to me is why are we spending so much time talking about this memo whether it was written correctly, whether it was issued correctly, whether it was reviewed properly, why are we spending that much time when clearly it's somebody who was suspect enough that there needed to be a warrant requested to surveil them? And so I actually have my laptop here in front of me because I'm reading through the details of what the FISA court does and what it is so that I could explain it. But, but the other thing that I'm doing is I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, okay, so if someone such as myself who has covered Washington as a reporter has worked in two different court systems and has a bachelor's degree in political science is reading through this and thinking to themselves, this is a lot of minutia and detail that we don't need to be involved with and that means taxpayers and voters really don't need to be involved in this. I mean, this is the equivalent to me of we don't need to see them making the sausage. We just need to get the sausage and decide that it's delicious. Just give me the sausage and I'll tell you that it's delicious. That's all I need to be bothered with in, a, in an instance like this. I don't need to see how it's made. So the idea that the Republican Party is trying to turn this into an indictment of the FBI and an indictment of the Democratic Party, again, we don't need to be concerned about that. I mean, these are things that are just so far beyond what they should be doing. Because again, we got enough things for them to be concerned about and for them to do that they don't need to do this and they don't need to tell us about it. We shouldn't have spent weeks and months talking about a memo that the Republican Party has created to discount the validity of this warrant. It is absolutely ridiculous that we have gone through this. The other thing that needs to be discussed is why that memo was released and why any of the details of this warrant are being released because all of this is classified. So that's why we have the designation classified, because it means most people don't need to know about it. Most of what the FBI does, the CIA and the NSA, most of what they do needs to be classified, and it's because they can't tip their hands. In the process of an investigation, the last thing you want to do is tip your hand, because then your opposition, or whoever it is that is suspect in this case, may find a way 
around whatever it is that you're doing may, may escape whatever it is you're trying to uncover about them. And clearly there is something about them that is suspect, which means they're going to be on alert. You don't want to do that. And so the idea that we're discussing this and that this memo has been released and they've been talking about what needs to be redacted in the memo, again, if it's that sensitive that there needs to be redaction, we don't need to be bothered with that at all. That's much further beyond where we are as citizens and where we are as voters. So here's what we need to be concerned about with voters. And the last thing I'm going to say about this um, before I close this installation is you should get on the phone and call your congresspersons or send them a letter or contact them in some way, whether it's in their field office or actually in the nation's capital. But you need to let them know this is not what you should be doing for us. If you guys have some internal memo and internal strife that surrounds some administrative process, that's between you, the legislative branch, the judicial branch, and possibly the executive branch. You guys work that out between yourselves. But what you really need to be focused on is, one, finding us health care reform. Let's get health care situated. Let's work on that diligently, not work on memos to criticize a warrant that has been requested. Don't need to worry about that. Two, how about we talk about this new tax plan because there are still critics of the tax plan who feel like all Americans aren't being best served by this new tax plan. Again, that's something that you need to be concerned about. And lastly, and most importantly, based on what has happened this week in Florida, gun reform. There has to be some accountability for those three things alone, before we start talking about things like DACA, we still have to worry about that. And in my mind, and I really believe in the minds of most Americans, DACA, health care reform, tax reform, I have to believe that most of us think those are more important than some memo about a person who needs to be surveilled and the court that does it. All of those things are absolutely irrelevant in the whole scheme of things when all those other things seem to be much more important and much more pertinent to us as individuals and voters. So, again, I say to you, reach out to your congressperson, let them know that you don't think that's important and to move on. Um, so I'm going to continue tweeting about it. I'm going to continue reaching out to our president so that he understands what we think is important. And I think you should do the same thing. So uh, I am at S-G-T-A-T-A-R-M-U-S-A. -S -S and I will see you on the next installation of Sergeant at Arms. Bye.